So recently I installed an AC unit in my work trailer here, and today's a good day because we're gonna be upgrading that AC to a full inverter heat pump. Let's get into it. So these units are actually pretty simple. They're roof mounted. All we had to do originally was cut an opening here. It came with a template, so it was really straightforward. It's got four bolts, um, and then you can remove this inner um, plastic piece here that's kind of like your, your ducting, and, um, and that's pretty much it. So all we have to do is take the four bolts out of here, We'll remove this and then the, re the unit really just slides out of the way and we can uh, install the new one pretty quick. And this one actually has worked pretty well. Uh, we're getting into the heating season now, so we haven't really needed to use the electric heat, but it's nice to know that um, we're gonna have the heat pump version now. So it's gonna draw a lot less power uh, for one, but for two, it being inverter based, the capacity can vary depending on the load, right? So that way it's not always running at, I think this is like a 14,000 BTU. It's not always running at 14,000. So it's gonna be able to control and maintain um, a lot better than this conventional one here. But this one's worked well. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, Let's see, this, it needs to come through there if you wanna grab that. It, um, it's worked really well. It's an install trailer. It's not something that we're using for normal comfort like if you're camping out of it or anything like that. But um, if you were, it would, be, it would be great for that situation as well. We actually use this trailer for multiple things. Uh, we go camping, we have dirt bikes. That's why I have all this e-channel stuff in here to where I can bring my dirt bikes in here and uh, strap them down. And then typically we would sleep up here in the front. And uh, I mean, having this thing is just great. Correctly, we just unplugged all these, didn't we? Yep. I'll hold. Um, that one's taped up. Should be good. Ready? Yep. Just gotta be careful with the wires down here at the bottom. All right. Let me, let me get on down. Right, sweet. Let's get this thing taken apart and take this pigtail off. Yeah, this was just like a little uh, quick kind of temporary pigtail. Um, and we would just run an extension cord wherever we were, what job site we were on, and just to plug it in, it was just quick and easy. Instead of trying to do some kind of permanent wiring on the trailer, this just worked out well. Looks like it's on all the way. It's nice to use a screwdriver every once in a while. You you freaking young bucks are just, you don't even know what it's like to have to use a nut driver. Makes you feel good. That's why you got, you got forearms like this. <laughs> Ooh, this one's black. It's like a matte black finish. It is matte black. That is nice. All right, so what we have is the Greenland. This model is the GL14V. 
So that, I guess, stands for 14,000 BTUs in variable speed. Again, it is a heat pump. It's inverter-based, which means it can vary its capacity. I think, looking at the nameplate, the cooling and the heating is around 7,200 uh, BTUs up to about 13,500 uh, yeah, 13 BTUs. So um, that's pretty much the range that you're going to be getting on this. It is a 115-volt system. So obviously it's easy to plug into a house um, or you know whatever, whatever power supply you have. But I need to get this opened up and install our, our little uh, power cord because I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Basically have the power cord where it kind of just sits up there on the top. And then when we get to the job, we just run an extension cord up there and plug it in and we're good to go. Should be it. Should be able to pull this lid off. What was that? Okay. Looks like it just goes into these grooves. Yeah. Maybe like a little muffler. Or something. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's on the suction side or the discharge, but. Dude, this is cool. A little reversing valve. Yep. A little baby reversing <laughs> valve. Yes, Obviously, sir. this is the control board section for the compressor over here. Yeah, I think we got sensors or thermistors on the pipes. Dude, I bet this thing is going to purr once we get it up there. Speed, you said? Yep. Yeah. Show enough is. All right, so we got to figure out how we're going to get power with that pigtail. Um, I was looking to see. It's got, so this is the main control board. Let's get this thing turned here. And our holes in here, right? Well, yeah. that was different than the other one. I don't yeah. think we're going to have to do that because um, the, the way where the power came in, so I believe. We had, to go, we had to go in because there was that. I think so. Pulled out that um, little plate. I think so. I don't know. Almost forgot about the indoor unit section for this unit here. So I'm pretty sure that's where our instruction manual is going to be. Not that we need it because, you know, we're professionals. But, you know, still good to humor yourself every once in a while, right? At least we, we want to make sure they're there for other people. See, told you, they're there. Because this gives you everything you need to do the install on the inside. It is where your power goes into, right? This just has connectors down there that connect to um, this part of the unit. But it's pretty cool. It has LED strip lighting all the way around. So it kind of gives you that mood lighting uh, inside. I got it. You got it? Now this is probably not the ideal way to do this, but for our purposes, this works just fine. We just don't have much of a ceiling to run the wires in properly. So um, this works out well for us. Probably need to run a three quarter, right? Because half inch might be too yeah. small yeah. or a ha half inch might be perfect. <laughs> much as you need. Good. it up on top of the trailer. 
if you could just grab it and slide the back. Ready? Something like that, and we can do it from the inside now. Yeah, let's just get get the bolts hand started, and then we can we can kind of send it from there. It's the good thing about these bolts being so long. These? Yeah. Oh, they're great. snaps to me. Three. We're working with a very flimsy ceiling, so it's not very uh, super strong, and um, which I don't care for, but I don't, I don't want to have to redo this whole ceiling structural wise just for this, so. There we go. We hear beeping. Yep. All right, let's turn this to Fahrenheit. All right, she's cooling, working well. That's pretty much it with these units, man. They're super easy to install. Obviously, we already had the whole cut. Um, from the previous one, so it made it even faster. But as you can tell, I mean, even the indoor fan function is, is quiet. It's not super duper loud. Um, so if you're in here sleeping, that wouldn't be um, obnoxious or you know keeping you awake up at night or anything like that. I think it's, I think it's nice and quiet. So um, you don't hear the loud compressor. It's much quieter as well. So this thing's awesome. Turbo did an awesome uh, job on this inverter. Easy to install, they're quiet. Um, we're gonna enjoy this thing in the winter months because we come in here, we might need to bend metal or you know get things ready for you know a job and we could be in, in the heat while doing that or just taking a break, eating our lunch, whatever. Whatever we need to use it for. Just having that as a functionality or as an option, it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, that is a wrap. So again, this install went smooth, clean. I really like how slimline this particular unit is. And it's black, so it matches the trailer, which is nice. Inverter base is awesome. If you guys are interested in a um, inverter-based heat pump like this, or any other type of RV system, uh, AC system, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for you. Check it out. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next video.